Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is something that I'm very excited to be bringing to you because this is something that is very important to me and something that I'm passionate about. And I know that it might not be the most fun conversation to have, but I felt like I needed to come here and sit down on camera, on camera, have a candid conversation with you guys about what's going on with our current climate crisis. Because if you haven't been keeping up with like the recent reports that have been coming out and all the things that have been said, all the statistics, it's a lot and it's not looking very good for us at the moment and I've been thinking a lot about this so I just felt like it was only right to sit down and talk about something that is like weighing heavy on my mind these days. Living as sustainably as possible is something that I'm very passionate about. I'm not perfect at it and by no means do I live a perfect zero waste lifestyle like at all but I try to be very conscious about what I do, what I consume, the products that I buy and I feel like from here on out every single decision that we make impacts our future and our planet in big ways. So I wanted to sit down and film this because one, I feel like it's super important and everybody should be talking about this and number two, I feel like there are so many ways that we could all be doing our part and I feel like I'm not doing enough sometimes so maybe you guys feel the same way and I want to share a couple of ways that I've been doing my part to fight climate change and maybe you guys could do the same, you know? But before we get into the specifics, I really quickly want to give a shout out to Public Goods for sending over some products for me to try. You guys know that I only partner with brands that I truly love and share the same values with. So I was so excited when Public Goods reached out to me and wanted to send me some goodies. Public Goods is a membership-based, direct-to-consumer company with a simple belief that safe, healthy, and sustainable products should be accessible to all. Their mission is to become the most trusted source for better household essentials that are good for people and the planet. Their products are made with clean ingredients and don't contain any harmful chemicals. In addition, many of their products are vegan, biodegradable, and compostable. And they even offer refills to reuse bottles and save on money. They carry products from dinnerware, personal care, household, grocery, pet, and CBD products. The product that I was most excited to try was their SPF 50 spray sunscreen because it's aerosol free, 100% reef safe, meaning that it doesn't have any harmful ingredients that can cause coral bleaching, and it contains naturally derived ingredients that nourish your skin while protecting it. The formula goes on completely clear so you don't have to struggle to rub it in. And as someone who loves to wear sunscreen on a daily basis, this has been a game changer. I put this on before or after my makeup and it leaves my skin looking so dewy and fresh. The next product I ordered was a set of their bamboo toothbrushes. If you didn't know, regular plastic toothbrushes are horrible for the environment and can take up to 500 years or more to decompose, which is why I made the switch to bamboo toothbrushes over a year ago and I haven't gone back since. They're environmentally friendly and an attractive upgrade to the standard plastic toothbrush. Plus, the handle is 100% biodegradable, so this toothbrush won't outstay its welcome on the planet when it needs to be replaced. I got this set of reusable mesh grocery bags that are the perfect replacement for plastic produce bags. I always make sure to bring reusable bags with me to carry my my groceries in but one thing I know I have to get better at is not using plastic bags to store my fruit and vegetables in. I always feel so guilty whenever I do that so I bought these to try and break that habit of mine. These reusable mesh grocery bags are made of 100% cotton and have a drawstring included to keep your produce secure so I'm really looking forward to going to the grocery store with these. I've actually been looking for an eco-friendly sponge so when I saw that they sold one I had to get it. Most traditional sponges contain harmful toxins like triclosan which is a pesticide that is linked to health problems and environmental damage. But this walnut scrubber is plant-based, hypoallergenic, and made of natural vegetable cellulose. I've been using it in my kitchen for the past few weeks and I love it. It's tough on residue, looks cute in the sink, and it's better for the planet and your health. What more could you ask for? I love trying out new coffee, so I bought a bag of their medium roast coffee grounds. These grounds have been organically grown and fairly traded with hints of cocoa, berries, and spices. To be honest, I'm not the best judge of this because I'm very picky when it comes to my coffee. I tend to like espresso drinks over iced coffee, so I wasn't too blown away with this, but my boyfriend does drink iced coffee often and he said that he likes it. So it does make me feel good that he can have high quality, natural, and healthy ingredients in his morning coffee. Having a public goods membership is an opportunity opportunity to give back to the planet and communities in need. They partner with Eden Reforestation Products to support their combined mission of reducing extreme poverty and restoring healthy forests. For every new public goods member, a tree is planted. To date, they have sponsored over 200,000 trees and counting. In partnership with UPS and external investors, UPS is currently offsetting 100% of public goods shipping. They also partnered with Feeding America this past year during the pandemic to provide meals to millions 
in need and have sponsored over 25,000 meals to date. They donate all of their near expired or expired inventory to St. Mary's Food Bank and Community Food Bank, which are organizations that donate food to those in need across the United States. If you'd like to try out Public Goods, I have a code for 15% off plus a free membership trial. I'll have all the information down below and a link that you can click to get you started. Once again, thank you so much to Public Goods for partnering with me on this video. Now back to the video. Where do I even begin? If you didn't hear already, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or the IPCC, is the authority on where we stand climate-wise. They recently published a climate report, and it's not looking so good for us. Our climate emergency is now being considered code red for humanity, and we have zero years left to avoid dangerous climate change. The report says climate change is already producing extreme weather and predicts the temperature will rise by 1.5 degrees Celsius by 2040, which is 10 years earlier than expected. The full report is all online and available for anybody to read if you're interested, but a lot of time and research went into it, so there's a lot of material to digest, so I wanted to break down the most important takeaways and share them with you today. It is scientific fact that humans are causing climate change. It's undeniable that our influence has warmed the atmosphere, ocean, and land. Extreme weather has become more frequent over the past 70 years. At this rate, the earth will be up to two degrees warmer by 2040. And although two degrees sounds like nothing, the effects will be even more disastrous as temperatures begin to rise. Compound extreme weather events are on the rise, like heat waves, flooding, and droughts that increase the risk of wildfires. And these are already things that we're seeing happening all over the world. Every region on Earth is already affected in one way or another. CO2 levels are at their highest in 2 million years. Strong and rapid cuts to methane are needed. Human-caused methane emissions primarily come from agriculture, livestock rearing, and production of fossil fuels. Climate change is melting permafrost soils that have been frozen for thousands of years, and as the soils melt, they're releasing ancient viruses and bacteria that, having lain dormant, are springing back to life. That means melting ice could potentially open a Pandora's box of diseases that we aren't prepared for. Changes to ice, oceans, and sea levels are irreversible for centuries. But number 10, and the most important takeaway in my opinion, is that we aren't doomed just yet. Every bit of action from here on out matters. Scientists always approach climate change with very specific numbers and scientific data. I think a lot of people don't take it serious because they don't understand what those numbers and predictions mean and what the future could possibly look like. So here's what 2050 could possibly look like if we continue heading in the direction that we are and keep ignoring the climate crisis. These facts and educated predictions are an adaptation from the book The Future We Choose. You walk outside. The air is hot and heavy. Your eyes often water. Your cough never seems to disappear. Instead of checking your phone for weather, you check for air quality levels. The air pollution and intensified surface ozone levels can make it dangerous to go outside. Arctic sea ice is gone. Forests are burnt to the ground. Most wildlife is a distant memory. High moisture in the air, higher sea surface temperatures have caused a surge in extreme hurricanes and tropical storms. Coastal cities in Bangladesh, Mexico, the United States, and elsewhere have suffered brutal infrastructure damage. Extreme flooding killed thousands and displaced millions. Because multiple disasters are often happening simultaneously, it can take weeks or even months for basic food and water relief to reach areas pummeled by extreme floods. Diseases like malaria, respiratory illnesses, and malnutrition are common. Diseases spread by mosquitoes and ticks are rampant. With population growing denser, antibiotic resistance has intensified. Melting permafrost is releasing ancient microbes that we have never been exposed to and have no resistance to. This is overwhelming healthcare systems. Every day, because of rising water levels, some part of the world must evacuate to higher ground. Those who remain at a coast will see the end of fishing. Oceans have absorbed too much carbon and marine life cannot survive. The ocean is dead. Droughts and heat waves kill the weak. Vast land has become arid. In some parts of the United States, there are fiery conflicts over water. Battles between the rich who are willing to pay for as much water as they want and everyone else demanding equal access to the life-enabling resource. Food production is unpredictable. More people are starving than ever before. This could be our reality. While this report and future predictions can seem daunting and leave you feeling like there's no hope left for humanity, 
we can't give up just yet. Climate change is a global issue that can and will affect life as we know it. Because of that, a lot of people, myself included, get very overwhelmed when thinking about it. But the report is clear that if we can cut emissions in half by 2030 and reach net zero by the next century, we'll avoid complete climate catastrophe. While we really need to continue putting pressure on industries that are responsible for the majority of climate change, we can't just sit around and hope and wait for change. We have to act now. If the world is up in flames by next week, do you really think that billionaires and the elite of this world are gonna stick around and help us get out of this mess? No, they're gonna be peacing out up in space. Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, all of them hoes are gonna be up in space laughing at us, okay? And we're gonna have to be the ones who figure it out, but guess what? It'll be too late by then. There is no plan to be, people. So here are a few things that we as a society and as individuals can do today. Number one, continue educating ourselves and others on climate change. Number two, join an activist group or online community in your area. If you can, show up in protests, sign petitions, use your voice. Apparently there's gonna be a global climate change strike on September 24th. I don't really know the details of that yet, but look it up. Maybe there's something happening in your area that you could attend. Number three, donate to nonprofit organizations that are already doing the work. Check out the description box for a list of organizations that need your help today. Number four, contact members of Congress and your local representatives. In the description box, I've left a few links to websites where you can find out who you need to contact and they will craft an email for you demanding change. All you have to do is sign your name and press send. Number five, go vegan or vegetarian. Eating a vegan diet could be the single best way to reduce your environmental impact on the earth. I went vegan seven months ago and honestly, I don't miss meat one bit but I understand that this isn't a lifestyle for everyone. What I will say is that you can make a huge difference by simply going meatless for one day. Giving up meat just one day a week means decreasing your meat consumption by nearly 15%, effectively decreasing the problems associated with the meat production by the same amount. So you can eat meat, like do you. Just eat a little bit less of it, please. For the planet, for your health, like there are a lot of problems that come with eating meat. So it might be a little bit healthier for you too if you just like step back a bit go meatless for one meal, you'll be fine, I promise. Voting with our dollar by shopping at businesses that recognize that we need to take action, such as Public Goods, Black and Green, Tom's Shoes, Etsy, 7th Generation, Adidas, Pila, literally any small local business. Be smart with the brands and the companies that you buy from because when you support them, you're also supporting the organizations that they support. So do your research. And lastly, make easy switches to sustainable products. Instead of drinking plastic water bottles, buy a reusable water bottle. Instead of using plastic toothbrushes, try a bamboo toothbrush. There's simple and low cost alternatives out there that don't seem like a lot, but they make an astronomical difference in the long run. There are obviously so many ways that you can contribute and do your part, but these are some of the few things that I find easy, important, and effective. Listen, I know I talked your ear off and I'm not sorry about it actually, because I feel like this is something that needed to be talked about. I really wanted to just sit down and spread some light on this because I feel like not enough people are talking about it and that blows my mind because like everybody should be concerned about this. Like this is our planet. This is where we live. Like how are you not worried about that? It, I don't understand. If this inspired you in any way, which I hope that it did, there are so many resources that I've left in the description box for you to check out. I've left resources on education about climate change if you're not too familiar with everything that's going on. I've left links to the IPCC report that you can check out if you'd like, links to donate to organizations, petitions to sign, members of Congress and local representatives to contact. Like I have left it all for you. All you need to do is put in the time and put in the effort. So please, please do that for me. Do it for yourself. And thank you for listening. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it. The planet appreciates it. But with that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you aren't already. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Comment down below what you're going to do to do your part to fight climate change. I would love to hear from you. But with that being said, thank you for watching. As always, I love you guys very much and I will see you on the next one. Bye! Perfect.